And here is the writer's almanac for Sunday, the 14th of January, 2018. It was on this day, 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt completed the first airplane journey by a sitting president. He went to meet Winston Churchill for a conference in Casablanca in Morocco because German U-boats made sea travel too perilous. Roosevelt left Florida in a Boeing 314 flying boat fitted out with beds and a lounge. The journey took four days. They had to stop for refueling, flew from Florida to Trinidad to Brazil, then across the Atlantic to Gambia, then on to Morocco. It's the birthday of Mary Robeson, born in Washington, D.C., 1949, novelist, short story writer, grew up in Ohio, five brothers, two sisters, ran away from home twice, once going to Florida to look for Jack Kerouac. She always wanted to be a writer. She wrote a short story called Sisters. The New Yorker published it in 1977. And within a few years, Mary Robeson began to be lumped in with writers like Raymond Carver and Amy Hempel came out with a few collections in the 80s, An Amateur's Guide to the Night, Believe Them, and then in the 90s was struck with a terrible case of writer's block. For about 10 years, didn't publish much of anything. And then she started driving around in her car with a tape recorder and just saying things whenever anything came in her head and then going home and writing them down on note cards. The result was her book, Why Did I Ever?, a very short novel told in 536 very short chapters. Here's a poem for today by Mary Jo Salter entitled The Age of Reason. When can we have cake, she wants to know, and patiently we explain when dinner's finished. Someone wants seconds, and wouldn't she like to try while she's waiting a healthful lettuce leaf? The birthday girl can't hide her grief. Worse, everybody laughs. That makes her sink two rabbity, gapped teeth acquired this year into a quivering lip which puts an end to tears, but not the tedium she'll take in life before she's given cake. When I turn seven now, her grandpa says, the priest told me I'd reached the age of reason. That means you're old enough to tell what's right from wrong. Make decisions on your own. Her big eyes brighten. So you mean I can decide to open presents first? Laughter again, she joins it, as the reward of devil's food is brought in on a tray. You know why we were taught that? asks my father. No. I light a candle, then another, in a chain so we wouldn't burn in hell. A balloon pops in the other room. Distracted, she innocently misses talk of nuns' severities. I never knew at seven. By then, we were Unitarian and marched off weakly, dutifully, to hear nothing in particular. Ready, I call, and we huddle close to sing something akin, you'd have to say, to prayer. Good God, her hair, one beribboned pigtail, has swung low as she leans to trade the year in for a wish. Before she blows it out, the camera's flash captures a mother's hand, all hope, no blame, saving her from the flame. The Age of Reason, a poem by Mary Jo Salter from her collection Sunday Skaters, published by Alfred A. Knopf, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, supported by the Poetry Foundation, publisher of Poetry Magazine, committed to discovering great poets and printing their verse. Back issues and subscriptions available at poetryfoundation.org. And by Lumosity, introducing a 10-minute fit test to challenge memory, attention, and problem solving to calculate baseline scores. Learn more at lumosity.com. Engineered by Noah Smith, produced by Joy Biles. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.